Hi guys, this is Gregor from Personas, and today I want to show you how awesome and how flexibly you can work with MIDI controllers in Studio One. First, I want to show you how you can set these up, and then I'm going to show you what Control Link is and the difference between Focus Mode and Global Mode. So let's get started. All right, and even though I'm going to use the Atom for this demonstration today, I'm going to not use the native integration that it comes with. So for people using the Atom, you won't need to follow the first steps of this tutorial. This is just so that anybody, no matter what brand of MIDI controller you have, can follow along. Okay, so we click on Setup here. And then to external devices, let's actually remove the Atom because I want to assume that I have any kind of MIDI controller from Korg, from Akai, from any kind of brand, right? So just click on remove and then click on add. And now I want to go ahead and click on new control surface because I want to add a new control surface device with knobs and buttons and so forth. If I would have keys on this controller, then I would add a new keyboard device instead. And if I want to send like MIDI to that instrument, then I would create a new instrument instead. So in this case, I'm going to go for the new control surface. And the only field that I need to uh, fill in here is receive from. And then I'm going to choose the atom right here and then call that whatever you want. In my case, it would be the Personas Atom. It's kind of weird to do it this way because you could just literally uh, select it from the available presets here. But for the sake of demonstration, uh, bear with me. So new control surface, receive from Atom, go with Personas Atom here and hit OK. All right. So that's all we have to do. And you only have to do this once at the very beginning. And now you're ready to follow along. Now let's just open up any song. Doesn't really matter what song it is and head to the Instruments tab. Now you can add any instrument of your choice. So perhaps let's go with the Hive by Urs Heckmann. Of course, this would be the exact same workflow for any other virtual instrument as well. The only important thing is that it reports its parameters to Studio One for automation. And yeah, once we turn one of these values here, you can see that at the top left corner, there's already the value showing up. If you don't see this, then make sure that you click on this drop down arrow here and that recently touched is active. Now this can be assigned to any of the buttons or encoders that you see here on my MIDI controller. And to add them, you click here on the controlling box and then on the Atom right here. Now you engage MIDI Learn and now you just turn all of the knobs on the unit that you want to assign to buttons. You can also do that here with uh, the available soft buttons. And in case they don't get uh, detected correctly, in this case, you see that I get encoders instead of buttons. I can just right click that and change it to a button or whatever I have. As soon as that's done, you end MIDI Learn. And as I said, you only have to do this once. All of these assignments are going to be remembered globally across all of your songs. And once you have that done, you just turn the encoder on your MIDI controller, and then you turn the respective encoder in your plugin or a virtual instrument. And then all that's left to do is click on this small flip triangle here. And now they're assigned. And you can see now I'm controlling the cutoff of my Urs Heckmann Hive synthesizer. And this assignment is going to be remembered across all of my songs. Now, if you want to assign multiple of these parameters, then it's probably a very good idea to assign a keyboard shortcut to do this faster. So go to Studio One Keyboard Shortcuts and search for Assign Current Parameter. So as you can see, I already have that mapped to a hotkey. And then I can very simply just turn any encoder that I want in the software, like Resonance, turn any encoder here on my MIDI controller, hit that hotkey, and they're assigned. Right? Couldn't be faster. Turn in the software, turn on the hardware, hit the key, and the assignment is done. In addition to any virtual instrument or plugin parameters, you can also assign any of the shortcuts available in Studio One. Let's look at how that works. So once again, click here on the drop down arrow in this control link menu. Now you already know what control link is. It's essentially Studio One's MIDI management, so to say and then select the MIDI controller that you're currently working with or where you have buttons that you want to assign or encoders. So in my case, it would be the Atom. And now click MIDI Learn again to add any of the buttons and encoders that you want to assign to something. Once you've done that, you can just end MIDI Learn and then right click to assign any command of your choice. So it could be, for example, start or uh, play pause, you know, anything that comes to mind 
And uh, this way you could also assign your transport controls of Studio One, for instance. Now with that question answered, let's look at what the difference between focus mode and global mode is. And to demonstrate what focus mode is, let me just add a couple of plugins here to my virtual instruments. For example, let's add the Pro EQ and let's add uh, the FET channel behind that, perhaps, just for demonstrational sake. And you probably noticed already that no matter which virtual instrument or which plugin I'm opening, I always have this yellow button here at the top right. And that is actually the currently assigned focus controller. So if I click here on this drop down arrow and I assign that to my Atom instead, this means that the assignments of my encoders and buttons will always work on the plugin that's currently in focus. For instance, here on the Pro EQ, I have the exact same encoder number one that I previously assigned to the Hive synthesizer cutoff assigned to the low frequency band. And as you can see, as I'm turning this, nothing happens on the cutoff here on the Hive. But as soon as I switch to the Hive, now you can see I'm controlling the cutoff with the exact same encoder instead. This is what focus mode means, that the assignment is always you know, switching to the currently focused plugin. As soon as I turn this off, this assignment is global. And that means only one of them can be uh, active at the same time. Right? As soon as I have this off, then I will always be able to control either the cutoff or if I override this assignment, the EQ. And that will always work regardless of the plugin window being open or not. I can easily demonstrate that this is true. I can just you know, uh, expand the preview of the Pro EQ here. And as you can see, I'm still able to control this frequency band. So this gives you incredible flexibility depending on whether you need to have your master fader, for instance, always at the same position. You always want to grab your MIDI controller and know this is going to be controlling my master volume now. Or if you want to have more of a kind of console one workflow from Softube where it's always going to follow the plugin that's currently in focus. Both can be easily realized with this workflow. So I hope this gave you a bit of an idea of what controlling and focus mode is in Studio One, and hopefully you'll be able to use that to your advantage. Thank you for watching.